Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Q-Drumco stainless steel shell pack. Regular viewers of this channel might recognize the kit from being in the background in a lot of our videos and after a lot of requests to feature it we thought we'd do just that. Q-Drumco is a custom drum workshop based out of Los Angeles creating hot rodded vintage style drums most notably constructing a lot of their shells out of metals such as brass, copper or stainless steel like the shell pack that we're looking at today. This kit has a 24 by 16 inch bass drum, a 13 by 9 inch rack tom and a 16 by 16 inch floor tom. The shells are made out of stainless steel as we've mentioned and have a rectangular patina finish as well as featuring maple reinforcement rings that serve as the bearing edges on either end of the shells and single flange brass hoops. This kit has seen a lot of action as a very popular backline kit here at Middle Farm Studios and has a lot of battle scars to prove it. A new shell pack like this one would set you back about £2,600, distributed by the UK retailer Sound Attack. Today we're pairing this kit with a VK Drums V-Cast bronze snare drum. Keep your eye out for a separate review of that in the near future. This kit has a massive personality that dominates a room more than you'd think three drums could do. Let's listen to more sounds before we come back for some in-depth discussion afterwards. This kit instantly makes a huge impression with those beautiful metal shells, but when you pick one up for the first time, you might actually be surprised because they're actually extremely lightweight, not at all what you'd imagine. The rectangular patina pattern on the shells is a really cool look, breaking up the almost Hulk-like metal shells with a look which, when combined with the clamshell lugs and single flange hoops, has an almost Art Deco aesthetic. A rather unique construction technique that Q use is to actually rivet the shell at the seam creating a bit of a visual feature, and also, they claim, creating a slightly drier sound. Today the kit features Evans UV1 coated heads on the tom batters over clear G1s on the resonant sides, while the kick drum features a UV1 EQ4 coated kick batter and the original centrally ported Q-Drumco branded front head. In the room this kit has a very loud and punchy sound with a short decay time, it's rock and roll through and through. The bass drum is an absolute beast with a hefty low pitched attack and some bright but short overtones. I should mention that the bass drum has an Evans EQ pad in there to muffle, but I think a lot of this character that we're hearing is due to that centrally ported front head, which gives a dry and direct sound and is the standard configuration that Q-Drumco offer. This drum records fantastically with its upfront aggressive attack and depth sitting perfectly in the mix, especially in rock styles despite having quite a large diameter, it's surprisingly nimble and quick to deliver. 
The rack tom is remarkably loud and resonant with a long sustain when held by the rim and struck. However, that note gets dramatically shortened once you place it in a snare basket, leaving an abrupt burst of tone, almost sounding like it's been gated. This is almost always the case when housing any rack tom in a snare stand, and for players who typically use a lot of dampling to achieve a short rack tom sound, they might actually really love how this setup responds. But for those out there that want to hear more of the drum's natural, beautiful sustain, they might want to consider using something like a rims mount or similar mounting device in order to get the best out of it. The floor tom is similarly dry, and with that single ply head on there, it feels like it requires quite a lot of effort to extract the best note, but the volume coming off this drum is phenomenal, and with such a short tail to the note, it works really well within fast fills or more tribal style tom beats. Working together as a trio, these three drums complement each other perfectly, all of them possessing a similar, kind of short, dry, aggressive, and loud tonality. The build quality here is absolutely world class, with beautifully executed drums that tune up effortlessly. The use of the maple re-rings on the metal shells are a unique touch, and those riveted seams alongside the patina finish are just going to keep looking better and better as the metal darkens with age. We can see a kit like this mainly being of interest to rock players who want something a little bit different that still embodies the rock and roll spirit. These drums love being played loud, so heavy hitters will certainly enjoy the amount of volume and tone they get back the harder they play. But that said, while the looks might deceive you into thinking that it's a one-trick pony, the sounds that this kit produces are surprisingly versatile. At £2,600 for three drum shells, this is quite a bit of an investment, but for those that are drawn to the rarity and the cool factor of these drums, we think they wouldn't even hesitate. And in comparison to similar high-end offerings from the big, classic US brands, it actually starts to look like a good deal. As you can probably tell, we are huge fans of this drum kit, but why don't you let us know what you think by leaving us a comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified of more content, and I'll see you next time at Drummer's Review.